What's going on guys and welcome back to another epic fantasy video. So this was originally intended to be my beginner's guide and to a certain point it's still going to be. I have all of the guides, everything else, the instructions in the game right here. So if you're having problems progressing, doing anything like that, this is what you want to reference. Each page is about 30 seconds long. You can freeze it, you can play it, you can read it back to yourself if you're having any troubles like that. But along with the direction to the game, I want to put a little bit of my own personal experience into this. And this is the stuff that's really not in the game. It's not explained in the game. And really, the, if you're a free-to-play player, this is going to help you advance not only a lot quicker, but you're going to have a greater understanding of this game. So you're not going to get frustrated and you're not going to quit like the uh, dozens upon dozens, possibly hundreds, possibly thousands of people that I've seen quit since day one of this game. And yes... I started playing this, even though it doesn't look like it, I started playing this game day freaking one. You all know that I have a career, that I have work. So I literally get an hour or two a day to play the, what, three games that I reliably play a day and plus like two to three others if I'm doing reviews or anything like that. Or maybe if I need to go back and you know, replay a game because they've updated or anything else like that. So I can give you guys reviews, but, um, yeah. So as this plays through, like I said, go ahead and freeze it and, and do whatever you need to do, but let's talk about this guys. So let's talk about the main thing. Let's, let's talk about the main thing that I see not only in discord being complained about, but just in general. All right. So, as far as progression goes, if you're free to play, you want to play intelligently. You don't want to advance your character as fast as you can. You don't want to uh, level him up as fast as you can. Simply because this is a very long game. And... It's not like other games to where you're only hitting, you know, 100, 300, even 500. This thing goes north. And the farthest I've gotten so far, the farthest I've gotten so far is 600 on my Vlad and on my uh, Balta. And then I have a bunch at 500. I, ha I have a bunch of... Uh, what is, is it five or six star reds? I think it's six star reds. I have a bunch of those. But here's the thing. You need to be smart about this because it does start slowing down the further you get into this. Because we're, we're talking about not only normal mode, we're not only talking about hard mode, but you have literally... what 40 chapters to go through i think it might be more again a lot of people are farther along than i am because i only get to play like an hour a day and i dedicate most of my time split between this and awaken chaos era this because i love it awaken chaos era because it's back and i want to figure out how bad they screwed it up but that's going to be a different video for a different day comparing both of these games because Honestly, both of them are very, very similar. So, be smart. Be smart with your gems. Really save them up. Save them up as much as possible um, because you do have to spend a few every single day to do your trainings. And yes, you want to do your trainings. And it is worth it to spend the gems to do the trainings because... If your team is not leveled up enough, you can literally pay, 
what is it? It's like 25 gems. 25 gems for 50. No, it's, it's either 10 or 25 gems. I, I'm not looking at it right now because I have the guides in front of me while I'm doing the recording, but it's either 10 or 25 gems. Guys, correct me down in the comments below so everybody can see where I'm messing up. I'm sorry. It's late at night. Uh, I've been dealing with Black Friday since uh, Thanksgiving night, so forgive me. Um, 10 or 25 gems. It gives you uh, 50 scrolls. You need 600 scrolls to get through 300 levels of training. Do that because literally, literally, if you don't do that, you're going to be in the training room for about three damn hours. If you do the 600 scrolls, it cuts it down to five minutes. Well, depending on the speed that you have it going at, three to five minutes. But I'll just say five minutes just to, to put a cap on it. Do your trains every single day. Spend the minimal amount of crystals that you can. Gems, crystals, whatever you want to call it. Don't needlessly spend because you need those for summoning events. If there is a character that you want that they are putting in uh, special grabs. Because you do get SSR scrolls, you get SR scrolls, and then you get uh, common scroll pulls. Generally, and everybody's different, guys. Everybody's different, so I got to put an asterisk on that. But generally, for my SSRs, I have Michael, I have Hera, I have Elizabeth, uh, who's another one, uh, Grace, and then the fifth one, everybody generally like has a fifth one that is unto them what they like. Me personally, I like Gwen. I like her AOE, uh bow attack that she has she's like a, a female legolas guys uh for the srs i do vlad i do balta i do uh, uh pirate chief um elf guardian and then the fifth one oh, crap i'm drawing a blank why am i drawing a blank um shoot i'm drawing a blank on that one sorry and then your regulars, you're going to want the Dark Skeleton Mage. You're going to want the Green Ribble Knight. You're going to want the... Uh, 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 water... What is it? Water Berserker? Water Berserker Magician. I think he's a Magician. Or it's just a water berserker because he throw. Oh no, water berserker bomber. Um, and then you're gonna want the uh, water skeleton archer. And then the fifth one is really a toss up. Uh, but I do actually the fifth one, just like in the SRs, I kind of exchange out depending on how I'm feeling, really. But those are really the ones that you're going to want to focus on. And then if any new characters come out that uh, everybody seems to be over the moon about or, you know, they're like, this is the new person that you need to replace with. You got to make sure to hold on to your crystals because every time that there's a summoning event and they release that new big player, you have to genu generally uh, spend about 140 summons to get uh, two SR scrolls to pick any SR character that you have in your lineup, two SSR scrolls to pick any SSR character that's in your lineup, plus they give you uh, soul rewards for that, and they give you like two dupes of that new character that you're trying to get. Also, they'll give you, um, in some of the events, their own little section to summon for that character. Stay away from that. 
I know you might be tempted to do it, but it's better to go to the general summoning screen and summon off of that. That way you're not only pulling that new specific character and getting all the rewards, but you're also still pulling your rare characters, your SR characters, and then your SSR characters as well that's in your wish list. Okay, so what else? So save your... And then, like I said, you got you got to be smart with your with your artifacts. Generally, in no matter what game I'm playing, I usually level people up individually. I usually level people up uh, together evenly, and that's generally how I do things. So that's it, guys. That's how I've been able to evenly distribute and level up all my characters by not hitting a wall in this game by being smart and just knowing when and where to spend your gems when and where to spend your um, spheres which help you level it up um, your your spheres as well as your artifacts uh, help you to keep your character above enemy hordes everything else so make sure that you're continuing to level those up as well really i think that's it and as long as you just follow that and not necessarily follow it to a t but as long as you do that and you don't go overboard you don't overspend you don't do anything like that you shouldn't hit a wall and you should progress fairly easily and relatively well